This video will be the first in a series of gel press printing, and I want to explore different things you can use with your gel press, different processes, different techniques. Today we're going to do a one color imprint utilizing botanicals or utilizing things that I have gathered from my yard. So I hope you will join me. My name is Peg. I call my channel to Old Crows Mixed Media. And I hope you will take a moment and subscribe to my channel. And for those of you that already have, I appreciate it. And I'm glad you are here. That notification bell, of course, lets you know when I upload additional content. So I'm going to pull out my 5x7 gel press. I have one side of this press that is clean and one side that I need to clean. So you're seeing the dirty side shining through. So bear with me. I am going to cut some A4 paper or some 8.5 by 11 inch, just plain typing paper is what I'm going to use today to, to experiment and practice with my gel press. So I'm just going to cut that in half to give myself some sheets that are workable. We'll set those aside. And I have gathered a bunch of leaves and different things out of my yard that is off screen here a little bit. There we go. It is just some asparagus tops, some ground cover, some weeds, and just some different things that I chose that I thought had great veining. Here is the ground cover that I am going to cut the roots off of and then just start with this. So I'm getting some set aside and I am going to give this one last little clean to make sure that I have pretty much all of the residue ink off of this side of the press and I'm using a baby wipe to just give that a quick quick once over. I'm utilizing Burnt Umber. It is Liquitex paint, acrylic paint. Got a little bit too much on, so I'm just going to set some of that aside to use in our next print. And I am using the brayer and I am lightly brayering this paint onto the press and getting it in a very even coat. So you can see I have a very thin, fine coat of paint laid down, and now I'm arranging my ground cover just so that it appeals to me. And I'm going to press off all of the ink that is around the outside edges of that ground cover that is laying on my press. I want to pull that paint. I keep saying ink, but you know it's acrylic paint. I want to pull that up. So you can see where I've just removed the outside. And now we'll set that ground cover aside and now pull our print. And there you go. Is that not beautiful? I love the way that appears. And I think this area right here may, would make a great place to write a quote and maybe stick that down inside my art journal. So I like that. I like the single color. I like the simplicity of the single color. And the fine detail, the feathery detail of the ground cover. So let's spread the raw umber on the gel press once again. And let's pull out some of the tops of this asparagus. My husband has an asparagus bed, or the other old crow has an asparagus bed, and I've just taken some of the tops of that ferning. And that even looks not too bad when we pull that ink around those ferns. So let's pull those ferny asparagus tops off and pull a print now from what we had masked. So there, that looks that looks pretty good as well. So I think we have a couple of, of decent prints already. So let's give this one more try. Just a little bit of burnt umber. You can see it takes very little paint. Let's spread it. Thinly, I'm do, using a very, very light touch with my brayer. I'm not pushing at all. And I have this butterfly brush, 
and the veining of those little butterfly leaves are very, very nice. The butterfly bush leaves. I'm going to just accompany that with a few of these asparagus tops. And let's pull the paint. We're masking with the botanicals. So let's pull the paint from around the mask that we have laid on the press. And that doesn't look bad either. So let's pull everything off now. And I'm very gingerly picking that off so I don't smear the paint. Laying the paper down and pulling this print. And I love this one. I think those veined very nice and that flower came out very nice as well. So I went to try it with a different color. So I'm I'm reaching for my violet. I think the violet would be nice. And I love the raw umber. I'm a I'm really a brown person. I love the browns. I love the blacks and the dark colors. But this raw, this violet uh, I, is also one of my favorites. So I'm just going to thread, thread, lay a thin layer of paint on the press once again. And I'm just going to use the asparagus, I think, on this. mask it and I like to run over the, the top with that brayer just to make sure that I get the mask laid down and I get a, a good connection there and let's just pull this up there I like the violet how about you There one more. So I think this is a very simplistic, very easy way to get some elegant looking prints that we can embellish, utilize within our journals, maybe use on journaling cards, use as focal points in our art journals or junk journals and it's it's so simple yet it it just appears a little more advanced i think let's pull this final print or one of the final prints and there and you can see where i didn't pick up a piece of that flower you can see it's still laying on the press so that paint is still masked so i'm just going to turn my press over and try to lay that down where it should be <clears throat> and i think we do okay here excuse me there we go So this is kind of what we came up with during this quick and easy little gel press session. This will be session one of a series. And I'm going to explore some other, some other techniques and some other ideas, some other ways to use your gel press. So I hope you will come along and join me. And of course, if you subscribe and hit that notification bell, you will know when I upload session two, three, four, and five, and as many as it takes to kind of go through all the different ideas and processes that I've uncovered or learned or explored with my gel press. So I hope you will come back and join me. Once again, I hope you will take a moment and subscribe. And I have uploaded a couple of, or 
attached a couple of playlists here that I think you might enjoy. And to those of you that have subscribed, I really appreciate your support. And I always love the comments. Bye for now.